33 years of age last month. Sugar Ray Leonard, Thomas Hearns, 30 years of age. And as it comes as no surprise, he's still taller than Tommy as he was eight years ago. And coming in at 162 and a half. Now that reach and that jab, Gil Clancy, were a big factor in the early going in fight number one. Do you expect him to try and start out the same way tonight, or will he follow the accepted gospel that because maybe a questionable legs, he's going to go right after Ray? No, I, I think that the, the last fight, Ray Leonard was bouncing around side to side, giving Tommy Hearns plenty of room to use that jab. I think this time, I think Tommy's going to come out like a warrior, and I think Ray's going to try to get inside and make a war out of it. I think a, a lot of excitement, really. Well, in the average jabs per round, you can see uh, things have changed for uh, Hearns uh, quite significantly. Against Leonard Wani, he, he threw 29, landed 14. He threw more in his last fight against James Kinchin, but landed fewer of them. So perhaps not quite the effective weapon that it has been earlier in his career. Okay, I spoke to both fighters in the dressing room. I'm cautious again. Obey my commands at all times. But there's no question. Shake hands. Good luck. No nonsense, Richard Steele, the referee, as usual, very concise self, and we're ready to go. The war, Leonard Hearns, two. Thomas Hearns, 162 and a half. Ray Leonard at 160, scheduled for 12. Tim Ryan, Gil Clancy, marvelous Marvin Hangler at ringside. An historic boxing match about to begin. Leonard in the striped red and white trunks, waiting for Hearns in the middle of the ring in gold. And you know, Tim Leonard seems strangely subdued uh, all during the introductions. Very quiet, not bouncing around too much. First punch of the fight, a flicking jab blocked by Leonard. And Leonard is starting this fight the same way he did the first fight, side to side, moving around, which is a surprise to me. Early chanting of Tommy from the Hearns fans, and I would say so far an even split in fan affection from what we can hear. I like the way how they're starting off now. Being very cautious, both of them. Any surprise in that, you Mark? No, no surprise at all, but I think Leonard wants to end this fight very early. Both of them, really. I can, you can expect anything in this fight. Leonard trying to jab up through that defense of the longer arm turns. I don't understand <clears throat> how come Tommy's not shooting that right hand when Leonard's laying down there like that. You know, Marv, I don't like that dragging jab when Leonard throws that jab to the body either. Well, he's got something he's up with his sleeve, though. Good defense by Leonard on the right hand from Hearns. He blocked it. These are not the same two athletes, obviously, of eight years ago, but they're as determined, as competitive, and what a lot of great action they've provided in the intervening years. And just about 20 pounds heavier than they were eight years ago. A wild swinging left and the taller Hearns ducking under it. Right hand scored by Leonard. And Hearns says, yeah, you got me, no problem. It could develop into a problem. Hearns can be hit with right hands. Hearns seems a little tight. You know, Emmanuel Stewart said that's going to be the key. If Tommy can take Leonard's punch and come back. The looping overhand right by Leonard, you just saw, something he's been working on in training. Final seconds of round one. Eight years later at Caesars Palace, a long-awaited rematch. Most thought would never happen, and we're underway. Round 
two, scheduled for 12. You know, I'm surprised to see Leonard moving around the way he is then, because in the first fight, he gave away the first five rounds with just exactly those tactics, and then he settled down, and he did much better when he fought Flatfoot. That's the way I thought they'd fight the fight. Well, we scored round one on our card for Hearns. Well, you know what's interesting in this fight? You know, both of them go down now, so that's what everybody's waiting for. It's no secret no more. Both have been down, indeed. Hearns suffering knockout defeat at the hands of Iran Barkley and Marvin Hagler, of course. Knocked down by James Kinchin in his last outing before coming on to victory late. Very close call. Leonard knocked down by Donnie Lalonde before stopping him in his last outing. Well, starting off, you can see they look, both of them look very slow. No hand speed like they used to have. Well, the bigger men, Marvin. Well, you can see Leonard throwing big power to the body. There's a right to the body from Leonard. That's where he got hers at in the first fight, was to the body. Right hand try by Hearns, high over the shoulder of Leonard. Leonard's waiting for him to try it again with the right hand so he can counter. They look like two fencers at this point in round two, waiting to see the other thrust and then make their own parry back. Right hand just short from Hearns. Had the opening, but Leonard pulled his head back. Well, they've got Leonard's attention, Tim. First time I see someone push somebody off the ring and tell them, and tell them good luck. Short again from Hearns on the last right hand. Leonard you know, missing with a wild left. You know, Leonard is depending on his punching about power ten. He's been training that way to hurt guys with every punch. You can see he don't use that hand speed like he had years before. Looking to bomb you with one punch at a time, which is not the usual Ray Leonard. He gets caught now with that type of tactics. Hearns smiling confidently as again Leonard short. Then he's having trouble getting by that left hand to Tommy Hearns. Well, he's trying to suck the Tommy in so he can throw the right hand. The left scored by Leonard. His best punch of the fight thus far. Final seconds, round two. You can see Leonard trying to use all kinds of sight. Now, there Leonard him. switching to southpaw, and he got tagged by Tommy Hearns. Scheduled for 12. Tim Ryan, Marvelous Marvin Hagelin, Gil Clancy. Hearns got a left hand through. Every time Ray starts to make any kind of a move at all, Tommy pops that left hand up. He's keeping Leonard right at the range he wants him in, right in this moment. You kind of wonder, looking at Ray right now, why would he want this fight anyway? Well, I think you answered that question there before the fight, Marvin. You, you think that he needs to somehow redeem himself from the, the way you judged his performance over you. Exactly, but you know what's happening, though. He's got a better fighter here. You don't have a guy like Adani Galan in there. He's got a real champion in there. And also, Ray doesn't agree with your thinking about his victory over you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but that's great. Turns jabbing effectively. Emmanuel Stewart, his manager and trainer, said that uh, he would do this and expected that as the fight went on, Gill, it would work in his favor, that he would be the stronger man in the later round. Well, he, again, he's popping and scoring points, Tim. A little right. short, a little short with it. Did land it, but Leonard picked it up. But you see, when you throw a punch like that, Tim, it, it keeps the other guy and intimidates him a little bit. Keeps him from coming in. See, Leonard knows right now he's a little confident that Tommy don't have no chin, and I think that's what he's, get, he's aiming for. Well, he may be aiming for a big right hand. Right to the jaw of Leonard. Leonard took it, but it was a big shot. And another one sent him down. Right hand to the ear of Leonard. It was the short right hand that staggered Leonard that really hurt him, although he tried to show that it didn't, but it did.
careless in there. He's really trying to be slick. He's bluffing right now. Tommy shouldn't let him relax so much like this. Overhand right, missed by Leonard. Right back from Hearns, not much on it. Again, Leonard is trying to punch too hard, Tim. Right hand, I mean, he's not there. Landed by Hearns, right to the body, back from Leonard. End of round three. Let's go back and see the knockdown. All right, here's Tommy Spanty, beautiful, followed in, and it was on the top of the head, Tim. Looked like a punch that almost missed. Right, that's the one that sent him to the canvas, but it was a clean right before that that really did the damage. Not the one that knocked him down. He was stunned, he tried to pretend that he wasn't hurt, but he was already shaken. Exactly what has happened, he's being active. That's the right hand you're talking about, Tim. They both threw right hands. Again, that was a job. That's point. the one. But Tommy knew he hurt him. You can see Ray here try to act like it didn't hurt him, and it wasn't much of a punch that sent him down. It was that one you saw a moment ago that did the damage. Round number four. There was also a little delay. That's right, Mark. It was a little delayed reaction. A short, chomping right from her. I expect that he wanted to come out now, trying to act to show that he wasn't hurt at all, and uh, try to take it back to Tommy. with the jazz now, the jab, a little more confidence than you might expect. Well, this corner is told to go out and fight him, and that's the only way to do it. Well, he was very successful using that left hand. I just keep using that left hand all night. Make great, great reach, and then nail him when he reaches. Ray's having a lot of trouble getting any distance on Tommy up to this point. As long as they stay in long range, Burns is going to score those points. Jabs, not banging to the body. That's what he's looking for, the big hook. He's waiting for Tommy to jab so he can count. You have to take the confidence out of the eyes of Thomas Hearns because it's apparent right now Thomas Hearns believes he's the boss. And Tim, this is not the Thomas Hearns that we saw fight James Kitchen. That's no, he, for sure. He looks a lot more better today. He said he wasn't motivated against Kitchen. He said he looks like a different fighter. There's that overhand right tried by Leonard. It grazed Hearns, and then Ray came back with a body attack. Hearns would have to keep the pressure on Leonard. So Tommy's starting to drop that left hand now, though, Marvin. Look where it is. That could be a bad mistake, because Leonard's looking for that. Tommy should fight him, and that's the way to fight him. So Leonard knows he's got to fight him. And Richard Steele just warned Ray Leonard to keep him up. See, Len Leonard just can't get the proper distance. He's trying for the big knockout. He's looking for the chin. You know Tommy's got that weak chin there. Left hand blocked by Hearns, handily, with his right glove. Short right landed by Hearns. Now bangs to the arms of Tommy Hearns. And then it's a good body shot. And a good straight right hand. Tried to wing that overhand right again. <laughs> Hearns fires back, scores a right of his own. Misses badly with a right. That was the go-home punch, though, Tim. And he was able to get away with it. Now Hearns tying Leonard up for the first time in the bout. Combination by Hearns. No full impact with a right, but it did score. Leonard missing. You can see that Leonard's trying to build back up his confidence now. now knows that Leonard's going to try to land that overhand right. He's seen it frequently. Final seconds of round four. A better fight to this point than many, many people expected. Going back into round number four, earlier in the round. That was that first amazing right hand that uh, just got Leonard's respect. Yeah, but it was on the end of the punch. Right, but it makes Leonard think about it, though. Oh, well, he knows that he's in there with a fight now. Gil, what about Correa's instructions to Ray Leonard? Well, you know, he's telling him a lot of things, uh, Tim. Like, like maybe a little too much. You know, tell the guy one thing, you know, you want to back the guy up or move him behind the jab. But he's, he's uh, really telling he's him a little too much. He's worried. <laughs> Marvin Hagler says he's worried, and Leonard comes out with a charge. That means uh, Correa, the trainer of Leonard's corner. Round number five, scheduled for 12. 
And again, as long as Tommy can keep Ray out there, this is almost a duplicate of the first fight where Lynn is giving away all of the early rounds. Can't get inside, can't go to work. And he didn't go to work until he landed the one big punch on Tommy in the sixth round. We have scored the first four on our cards for Tommy Hearns, including a knockdown in round three and a close round yeah. four. There's that scoring jab of Hearns. Again. Well, that was a very, the, very close round. Lynn is looking for the big hook, though. And Tommy shoots the jab. And Tommy's dropping that left jab again. But he does it all the time, Gil. He's done it forever. And I know he, you, you'd and, like to see him change it, but you know he won't. And he's got hit on the chin doing it. Yes, he has. Do you notice how slow Lynn's jab is coming out? You notice that Ray just can't seem to reach him. He tries to he's throw it right He's got to get closer. In. He's got to get closer. Now is when Lennon should go to work. Right now is right when there. he should go to work. Short right landed inside by Hearns. Again, this is Hearns territory where they are right now. Right hand by Hearns landed and a left hook blocks Hearns. Leonard after him. Leonard, Hearns trying to tie him up and he does. Combination by Leonard rock Tommy Hearns. He's still wobbling. We're in the fifth. Well, you know right Another now, right hand on his chin. Tommy's fighting back. Overhand right. Hearns fires a right hand back, but he's reluctant to tie up and Leonard. Leonard's using a lot of energy, Tim. Hearns just, just covering up. Punch. Right hand landed punch. again by Leonard. Hearns covering up. Leonard trying to find an opening. Hearns fires back and misses. Now finally grabs on to Leonard. Tim Hearns is not out of it yet. No, he's not. Yes. This solid punches by Leonard. Leonard to the body. There right he is. hand right down the pipe on another. Hearns in trouble. Hearns has got to fight back. He, he is fighting, fighting back. back. He's right to the fight body back. and a right. He's got to get him back. Fight. He's got to be throwing punches right now. Right now. Hearns, punches. Hearns legs a little shaky. He scored a right hand inside. Leonard may have tired himself. Spent a lot of energy, Tim. Well, missed a lot of punches. Under 30 seconds left in round five. A swinging left on the break, scored by Leonard. Nice, a left nice scored look. by Hearns. Short with a right hand is Leonard. Hearns is dropping back and dropping his hands. Hearns trying to load up on the right after taking all of that punishment. Final seconds, round five. Jab by Leonard, not much on it. Hearns appears arm weary and still unsteady. There's that left hook of, of Ray Lennon. It's the same one that hurt him in the first fight. Kept waiting for him to throw that left hook, and he nailed him with it. He got inside. Now he's close. Just beat that, him to the punch. When he's close, that's when he can do his damage. And once he hurts you, he's a great finisher. The right and left combination. There's the right. The left. Wobbling. Hearns refused to go down and landed in the ropes. Leonard attacking him, but Hearns surviving. One more look at it. Emmanuel Stewart screamed at Hearns when he got back. This is what makes a great fighter. The way he rallied in the fifth and telling him, obviously, to accept this challenge. And he also said that Leonard is out of gas. Spent a lot six. of energy last round. And he, uh, Emmanuel Stewart in the pre-fight said, if Leonard can't get him out of there with his big punches, he's going to be in trouble. Two good jabs by Hearns early here in the sixth. The questionable legs of Hearns will be tested now. Well, Leonard's breathing is real hard in this round. Leonard right looks tired right now, Tim. He's going to have to get a second win. And that's when Hearns should put the pressure on him right now. The gamble with him. He got to gamble. You're right, Marvin. And that's what they're screaming at Tommy from the corner. Get off. By him waiting is giving Leonard time to figure out a new plan. Marvelous Marvin Hagler, Gil Clancy. There's a good left by Hearns. You can hear the impact. Right hand blocked by Leonard. Leonard's waiting for that jab now. He's giving Leonard time to think. Well, anytime Leonard starts moving that head around, Tommy should go to the body. Just faint. <laughs> Leonard has become the puncher. He's not throwing enough punches to win the rounds. He's throwing punches to get Tommy out of there. But I think if he doesn't get him out of here, I think he's going to wind up blowing a decision because he just is not busy enough looking for the one big punch. 
There's that head moving. That's when Tommy should go right to the body. Anytime Ray moves that head in front of you. Good jab by Hearns. Good one back from Leonard. Both finding the range here in round six, but not throwing them in bunches. 33-year-old Sugar Ray Leonard, 30-year-old Thomas Hearns, into the sixth round scheduled for 12. A knockdown by Hearns in the third. A big round in the fifth for Leonard, who staggered it. Tommy Hearns. Leonard's looking for that one big punch again, Tim. Mouth is wide open. Give him a little time to figure out a plan, and so then it's going to come up with a good combination. Leonard just missed with a right hand. Oh, now Hearns is stalking Leonard, but he's not moving his hands. They should have been the hooks right there. Tommy should throw the hook. Leonard's dropping his hands now, like he ain't hurting me. And Leonard ducked under a right hand from Hearns, but takes a left on the next exchange. Watch the fake. I know, I know if I was in Tommy Hearns' corner, I'd have a faith in that jab and hook into the body. What's he doing? Why is he standing there without punching? That's when Leonard gets off. How big punch a puncher is Sugar Ray Leonard now, Marvin, based on your fight rate? Yo, he couldn't punch me. He caught me with the best shots. Didn't really hurt me or stun me at all. That's the end of round number six. I think it's because of the weight difference. Emmanuel Stewart wants more out of his fighter. Let your hands go. Punch more. Don't let Leonard punch so much. Well, I felt that way last round, Tim. Uh, uh, Tommy was stalking and stalking, but he wasn't moving his hands. He said, we came to fight this guy, let's fight him. Round seven, a short right landed by Hearns. First exchange. What I noticed is when Leonard starts flurrying, he starts throwing punches. Hearns is standing there and cover up. Hearns picking up the pace, bangs to the body. Leonard trying to block punches, but not punching back. Hearns driving him along the ropes, a combination. May have him in some trouble, hard to tell right but now. But he's missing a lot of punches, Yes, Tim. he is. And in this heat, after one guy gets finished punching, then the other guy will come back. And he's taking a lot, of, it takes a lot out of you when you miss those kind of punches. He's got to jump on him again. Crowd came to its feet, but he did not score heavily. We're in the seventh, scheduled for 12, a again, dramatic Tommy, bout. Tommy has Ray out where he wants him. Sharp left from Ray to the body, a little bit low. That's where he wants to hit Tommy in the body. Good Tommy's right got the, the left hook right here. There it is. And throw it again, throw it again. This is where Tommy sits there, and that's how Ray gets off. Can't sit there. Left and right from Leonard. Short with a right, right hand back from Hearns to land. Shows that it looks like Leonard's a little weak right now, Tim. He got moved by that right hand, and it wasn't that hard a punch. 90 degree temperatures here at Caesars Palace on a June night. More than 15,000. They've been up and down out of their seats for the action. I think the key to this punch for Hearns is that left hook. He should use the left hook a lot more. Through the body, Marvin. That'll body set up to the head. That'll the set right, up, hand. right. That'll set up the other punches. Body and head to the right, straight right hand. Again, Don't now, play with him. Again, Don't now, play Tom, with him. Tommy's not getting off enough right now. Can't play with him. He's hanging in there, dropping that hand down. Tommy is not using those hands enough. Using them to turn it around, not using them now. Look at Leonard's able to get the full range for him. He's that right hand. He's got his head up. That's what I said what Tommy does. He folds in, tucks under, he stops punching. But Hearns missed two punches there that should have been target practice for him. Now he goes to the body and connects. Vicious body punches by Sugar Ray. Hearns jabbing back, but the body blows of Leonard now push Hearns away. Under 30 seconds to go round seven. Tommy looks tired. Oh, Ray looked tired at the start of the round. But this is who's got the most endurance is going to win this fight. I don't think it's necessary to punch him power. They did a lot of feigning. Neither guy able to land. Wound up with Ray standing behind Hearns. And Hearns has stopped punching him. In round number seven, difficult round to score. Remember early on that Hearns knocked yeah, Leonard all along the rope. Yeah. Ray not punching back, right. and then Leonard came back well. Get, oh, Eddie, what? check him out here, good. If the judges wrong, remember the beginning of the round, they give it to Hearns. Ray Charles, right. baby, look. You've been standing up too tall, number one. Tired of too okay. straight. Now listen, you've got 
to him, get the body. Got to stick to the legs first. Go in, steal what you want, and move him around a little bit. Steal what you want and move around. Here's the early part of the round where Hearns was knocking Leonard all along the ropes, and Ray didn't really take any damaging blows, but he didn't punch back at all. So Hearns certainly got scoring points there, and there was the best punch was that right you saw right there. Exactly, but Hearns got a nice left hook, and I don't know why he used it more. That you won't punch. Cut it up. You got to punch. Physical fighting. Forget the boxing. Fight the man. Oh God. <laughs> Now Emmanuel Stewart saying fight the man, physical boxing, we're into round number eight. Turns and goal, Leonard in the stripes. If Leonard can start reaching Hearns with that left jab, Tommy's going to be in a little trouble. He has to keep that jab going to keep Ray out where he wants him. I'm looking at Ray's left eye right now, too. One of them is starting to look a little smaller than the other one. Maybe Tommy hit him in the eye a little bit. There's that piston jab. Not quite the same sting or speed it used to have, but it can still hurt you. And more importantly, it scores points right now, Tim. Well, the oddsmakers thought the fight probably wouldn't go past eight rounds. We're into the eighth. The so-called over and under in Las Vegas betting circles. We're in the eighth round. Tommy can't hang on the ropes at all. He's got to stay in the center of the ring. That's he's, the key. He's not using his hands enough right now. He's not even using that left hook. And Tommy loves the left hook. He's got a beautiful left hook. Turns boxing. You heard Stewart say at the end of the round, go out and fight him. Then he's trying to take his confidence away from him. You have any sense he's been able to do that, Martin? I don't think he's taken he his confidence away. Double hook. Double hook to the body, the hook to the head. Come back with the straight right hand. Ray is going to have to explode and explode soon. We're saying that Tommy's not punching much. Ray isn't exactly a ball of fire in there. But this is where you give Ray that time. Right hand landed. Not full impact, but it did land. That's the rest of the More See, of those for Tommy. When Tommy is, is fighting offensively, he seems to have it all his own way. I don't know why he waits so long, but I think that's what Manny Stewart's talking about. Seems every time he starts to unload, he gets the best of it. Under a minute to go in round number eight. Hearns forcing the attack. That's what he's got to do. Keep Linnitz back against the rope. We have Waiting a little too long to get off. We have Just Tommy Hearns ahead, having given him four rounds cleanly. We we'll wait for Tommy to pick up. Tommy's got to come right back. Man looks like he's about ready to do something, but he just can't get past that left hand of Tommy's. Look how weak he looks right now, Ray. Hearns pushed him. What appeared to be a staggering punch was really from a push. It was a push, but Ray's legs didn't hold him very well. Final seconds of round eight. And they're asking Tommy, pleading with him to get off. Let him, let him go. Let the punches go. What are you doing? Who is that? You know how dirty Ray is. I don't believe that. Both of these guys were wide open and neither guy punched. Exactly. You know what? You know Until Ray Until after dirty. the bell. Right. I think Ray Lennon has a big mountain to climb right now, Tim. That's the way it looks on our card. Into round nine. Notice that they're starting off very slow. Well, at the end of that last round, Marv, they both stood there looking at each other. Both guys had their hands down. Neither guy threw a punch. You see Lennon hitting him right in the chest now. You yeah. see that jab is bothering Ray all the time. You know, Tommy, Tommy's the one that hurt his eye in the first beginning. In the first fight. Right. You wonder whether or not he's still thinking the same thing. There was that left hook of Tommy Hearns. A little low, but that's what he has to do. Ray is throwing range fighters out there now. Not too much on him. You know? Leonard's waiting to see what's going to happen, how tired he can make Tommy. Well, he's looking to land that one big punch, and he's been looking from the opening bell. The low blow from Leonard and gets a warning from Richard Steele. What do you know about the low blows? <laughs> you had a few of those, did you, Marvin? Or did you throw a few, or both? Oh, well, you know what happened. <laughs> Right now, Sugar Ray Leonard looks like a puzzle fighter. He's standing straight up, which his corner told him not to do. And he just, he's always out of the range when he's throwing those bombs he's trying to throw. 
He's trying to show Tommy that he's got bigger, I think, and that he can punch. Right hand faster. counter landed by Hearns. And Leonard landed a right hand too, Tim. Yeah, that was coming in. He scored first. Thought Hearns had a little more impact. Hearns just landed a good left hook to the body. And that's just what he should do more. He come back to the head with the hook. Short Tom, for that right. Tommy, but Tommy set it up beautifully that time. Tim. I think that punch there just hurt Tommy right to the rib. I see the flinching. See him? Right here, he's flinching. He's spitting blood. And that's what Leonard's doing. He's attacking the body now. See, Ray is looking for that one big punch, though, Mark. And sometimes you can wait in the fight. There it is again. He's just out of range. You can be waiting and the fight's over. And you say, well, he never found it. He's got to be busy. The punch will come by itself. Stop. He has to stop putting it together. Tommy stop punching for? Why does he stop punching? And he's letting, he's letting uh, Ray back him up. And he knows Tommy gets in trouble when he backs up. There you go. Coach. That's what I'm looking for. And now coming back with that straight right hand. That one hurt Tommy. Short right scored by Leonard. Right and a left and a right. Hearns fires back, but Leonard had the got better of it. He's got the fire back. Well, this, is when Ray, this is what Ray has to do. Come on, Tommy. He can't fight from outside. Big right, right hand by Tommy Hearns. A good one right to the chin of Leonard. Didn't move him, but it was a good left hook back from Leonard. He dropped his right hand. Tommy dropped his right hand, and that was, that was his downfall. Leonard trying to spring to the advantage of that left hand. Tommy's tired. Final seconds of round nine. And Tommy doesn't have a leg under him right now. One good solid punch. He's gone down. There's the left hook that staggered Tommy Hearns. Blocked the next two, but he was still wobbly, and there came the right. Leonard working inside, then brought up that left. Watch for the right hand. Well, he followed with the right hand after Hearns covered up. So we're into round 10. There's Roberto Duran working the Spanish telecast, Spanish-speaking telecast tonight. The WBC middleweight champion with a remarkable win over Iran Barkley. Talked about as the next opponent for the winner here. All right, Ray feels that he heard him in the last round, Tim. He's right on him. And this is where Tommy doesn't belong. Right. On the ropes, allowing Leonard to get within punching range, which is what he's doing. And he's not punching. Right there. Leonard's right in front of him, and he's not getting off. Now, now Leonard has the distance. Right here, right here. Hearns is letting him have the distance. Leonard's jab starting to take effect. Well, because he's getting a little closer. Tommy's not pumping that jab anymore. And the Hearns legs don't look so good. A left of the neck from Leonard. You heard Emmanuel Stewart saying to Hearns, you've got to fight. You've got to go get him. Tim, right. Leonard started to put, it, to put his punches together. That's what he has to do. Get close enough. Just keep those hands moving. The big punch comes all by itself. Tommy looks sloppy every time he backs up. Legs aren't there anymore, Marv. Maybe the fact that he had to make that 163 and a half pounds, maybe not. But the legs aren't there. I don't know why he's not firing that right hand a lot more. That's, even if he misses it, he'll keep way back a little bit. See, this one, this one Tommy looks good when he's coming forward. And when he's sticking that left sticking hand that left, uh, Keeping Ray away from him. He has to move and keep him away. Round number 10, scheduled for 12. He just shook Ray a little bit from the top of the head with that and let him go. He's letting him go. He's letting him have his way in there. What you waiting? Wait. I don't know what he's waiting for. If he's not doing anything else, he should be pumping that jab. Exactly. Ray's going to try to come over the top with the right hand now. Not doing anything else. Double the jab. Pump the jab. Hearns has got to wake up now. He's got to get that second win and start waking up and letting Gray know that he's not tired. Gray missed with a right, a short chopper back landed by Hearns. Under a minute. A little blood coming from either the mouth or nose this of Hearns. This is the cheek of Hearns. Counter right missed. A little cut under the left eye of Thomas Hearns. That's Insignificant. Huh? Insignificant. No damage there. No serious uh, problem. Nice. Good, solid left from Thomas Hearns. 
to finally get that little energy that snapped out. And that's what he's got to do. He's got to show when that he, he's got the snap. When out. he has Ray punching from outside the way he is now, he's in command. It's only when he slows down and allows Ray to get inside. Well, you know, Ray knows how to go to distance. And I think that's what's going to be the advantage in this fight right now. Early part of the round, you'd have to score for Leonard, but Hearn's coming back here now in the later seconds. Down to 15 in round 10. There you go. Short right inside by Hearns. Counter back to the body. Hearns misses with a right. Hayes has got to go forward. Lands a left. Final seconds of the pit as Leonard scores. Round 11 upcoming. We have given Ray Leonard two cleanly, two close ones. It could be scored either way. The rest of it to Hearns, and Leonard comes charging across. Richard Steele cut him off as... All right, now Hearns was not out of his corner. Let's see if, if, if Tommy allows Ray to get within punching range. It's almost like allowing. He doesn't have to allow. He can yes. pump that jab. Give it a little blow. He should take a start taking a point from Ray when Ray is like that. There's that overhead right. Trying to land the haymaker and missed it again. But as long as he can get away with it, tempted to throw it four times and miss and land the fifth, it's okay. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy's not counting back. Tommy's got to stay in the middle of the ring. Short uppercut and a good left back from Leonard. You see, Tommy seems to be waking up right now, right then. Tim Ryan with Marvin Hagler, Gil Clancy in round 11 of the scheduled 12 round championship bout. Hearns, Leonard, two. Hey. There's a right by Hearns. Big right hand by Tommy Hearns. Another, another one. And a left. Down goes Leonard with a combination from Hearns. Five. Leonard looks hurt, Seven. gets up, but he is hurting. Get back. Get back. Tim, I think that his eyes are clear. He may be hurt a little bit, but his eyes are clear. Turns after on the left of the body. Leonard firing back. Down twice in this fight. A short right by Leonard. Well, believe me, Leonard's in this fight. A Leonard short right here. by Hearns. Iris Hearns, I'd still use that left jab. Keep pumping that jab. The other punches will come. He just got to make sure Leonard don't get that rest. You got, got to use it. There you go. Hearns counters with a right. Leonard tied him up. Boy, both of these guys are showing all the championship heart in the world, though. More than anybody expected tonight, the kind of action they've been able to generate. Their hearts were never in doubt, but the ability they've shown here struggle into the 11th round firing bombs has really been remarkable i don't think tommy needs that right hand business anymore i think all he needs to do now is pump his pump his jab and coast home well he's got two knockdowns on the scorecard too and we've got him ahead handily and look at ray bang him ray back bangs him back a good left hook big mistake to count ray Leonard out of this fight i'm not counting him out no. <laughs> i'm just pointing out the score what Ray's doing is he can't possibly, he's got it. He's doing what Tommy should be doing. Under 30 seconds to go. In the 11th round, this is a 12 round fight. There's a right hand by Leonard. Right, right, right hand shot. shot from Leonard. So and bangs inside. Lets him, Tommy lets him go, lets him have it. And Tommy's a little tired. Tommy shouldn't be backing up. Right hand by Hearns grazed the chin of Leonard, but he punched right back. End of round number 11. Go for it, Hey, close. Can you hear me? Let's see that knockdown. A right that hurt him. Little delay. Missed with a left. I believe it was the left hook. That There's another right, right hand and a left hook and a right behind that. And three punches. Cumulative effect sending Leonard down. All right, take another look at it. There's the first right hand. That wobbled him. Missed the other one. Missed the hook to the body. And then there's another good right hand left hook. And the final right hand. And down he goes. You can do it. You can do it. Gentlemen, uh, it's safe to say the way we have it. Sugar Ray Leonard needs a knockout in this final round to win the fight. Absolutely. He's been down twice in the fight. It's the point system. If I was in Tommy Hearns going, I'd say pump that jib, pump that jib. Don't let this guy close to you. Don't let, don't let Leonard be too nice to you in there right now. Right. 
and you don't have to take any chances. No, when he tried it, Marvin, he smiled. He smiled, tried to say, come on, we friends. All right. Well, I won. Hearns after him. Now, Hearns busy here early in round well, 12. That's something he doesn't have to do. Well, he is a gallant guy trying to put him away. Look at Hearns wail away. He scored two knockdowns already. May not have to do it, but there's so much pride at stake. Both of these guys gritting, gritting their teeth, giving it their all. Tommy Hearns wants this so badly. Sugar Ray Leonard, of course, one of the proudest champions ever, will not concede anything. Did you notice the way Hearns is? Right hand by Leonard. Both guys landed right hands, Tim. Hearns is waiting to get back in. Another right hand, backing Leonard into Hearns into the ropes. Ray Leonard. He's got to fight him back. And here's what Tommy didn't know how to do in the first fight. Hold on. And walk him out of there. Leonard's trying to push him to the ropes so he can bang him. Referee supposed to break him. Leonard did not break that time. He's slick. Mob, you know that. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Here he goes. Come on, Tommy. Leonard rallying. Backs up yep. Hearns again, but Hearns fires back. But like you said, Tommy's getting the last monitor. But Tommy's this is right on the ropes now where he shouldn't be. Left hook landed by Leonard. And Tommy has nothing left. Leonard in desperation now trying to put he his hand away. Watch the clock now, Tim. Tommy has nothing left. Right hand by Leonard and Hearns in difficulty along the ropes. Another combination. Punching back, but he's wide open. Leonard firing away. Can we see a replay of 1981? Oh, but here's Tommy Hearns holding on. That's Look smart. at that clock going around. That's, That's what he smart. couldn't do in the first fight. Exactly. Under a minute to go. Wild right hand by Leonard. Landed on the back of Hearns. Hearns wobbly legged, but holding on as you point out something he and Leo Ray Leonard in trying to in walk in. Fight. That's what Tommy gets in trouble. He's, that's but what he's doing better. He right knows enough says. to hold though, Marvin, he's which he holding. did not know how to do before. But he's backing up on that rope again, and that's where Leonard wants you so he can flow. He's to punch back. Leonard giving it everything, and Hearns trying to punch back. Not much sting in his punches. Staggering around the ring. Under 30 seconds we go. That was the big left hook by Leonard. See, yeah, Leonard knows the last 30 seconds. Leonard to the body and now up to the head. Hearns punching back, but no effect. Well, Leonard's a little tired now. Yes, he and is. He tried to break him. There should be a point taken away Leonard right there. Leonard punching on the breaker right hand lead score. There can no longer Hearns be a knockout in the fight. There cannot Final be a knockout, Tim. Final seconds with Hearns still on his feet. The crowd is on its feet. What a war! What a fight! Very good fight. But we'll see how the officials see it. The judges here tonight are Tommy Kazmarek from New Jersey, Dalby Shirley, Jerry Rod from Las Vegas. A tremendous battle, no matter which way the judges see it. We certainly have Hearns, the winner. He scored knockdowns in round three and round 11. Ray Leonard's biggest round, the fifth, and then in the 12th, the tremendous rally against a tired Tommy Hearns. Marvin, you know, I owe Tommy Hearns an apology. After the Kinchin fight, I said on the air, Tommy, what do you need it for anymore? You should retire. You have all the money you want. You were down. You were hurt badly. Retire, Tommy. And did he show me? I said he didn't have any legs anymore. Didn't have a good chin, but he sure proved it tonight. He did. He uh, fought an excellent fight, I felt. You know, it's like, Here, again, two Here's tempers. the punch stat. Leonard landed 232 punches. Tommy, 221. T Hearns was more accurate with 40%. But Hearns scored those two big knockdowns. knockdowns. And that should be the difference in the fight. Exactly. See, I'm trying to tell you that Leonard's not moving as much. He put that little bulk on him. And uh, that's that's been a big bad thing for him. See another thing, Marv. Leonard's strategy all during his training was to throw every punch like a bomb and hurt the other guy. And he forgot to put his punches together. That's what got him here. The big punch comes all by itself. I told Bob Arum maybe 20 million to do it for me. <laughs> all right, let's go up to Michael Buffer. Jerry Roth scores the bout. 113 to 112 for Thomas Hearns. Tommy Kazmarek scores it. 113 to 112 for Sugar Ray Leonard. And Dolby Shirley scores the bout. 112 
Round 12. This bout is a draw, ladies and gentlemen. The bout is a draw. The bout is a draw. Let's get both boxers here. Tommy Hearns. Everybody, everybody calm down, guys. Let's get Tommy Hearns over here. Tommy. Tommy Hearns. Manuel Stewart. Ray Leonard. Gentlemen, gentlemen, I gotta, I've got to tell you guys both that Marvin Hagler, Gil Clancy, and I had this fight scored for Tommy Hearns, primarily on the basis of the two knockdowns. Let's get Tommy's reaction to the decision first, a draw. Tommy, what are your thoughts? Uh, I thought I uh, won the earlier rounds, um, but Ray was able to come back. Um, I can't uh, say nothing negative about Ray. It's a, a great fight. i got to give him a props. But would you expect with two knockdowns to get only a draw? Well, I was hoping for a win, but you know how that is. Well, the crowd is registering their unhappiness. Ray Leonard, I, I got to put it to you this way. Do you feel lucky to get a draw? No, I don't. It was a close fight. I thought the fact that uh, those two knockdowns work uh, was an edge. But I was able to come back in uh, with middle rounds and late round to gain it because a knockdown was like a 10-8 round. And I think I came back strong enough in uh, the times I did rock Tommy that uh, to get two point rounds. Yeah, exactly. Did you did you expect this kind of a fight? Well, I always expect tough fights. So no matter what you guys be saying, 12 rounds. Everyone said that Tommy was uh, was just a shot fighter, and uh, the fact of the matter was. He showed what he's made of. Well, you said he was a shot fighter, too. Shot winner, too. Shot winner. <laughs> Come here, Tommy. Tommy, you don't seem terribly disappointed by this draw. Well, this was something you wanted so I, badly. I, I, I feel grateful for it because I worked hard for it. I thought I wanted to fight, but, you know, that's uh, up to the judges. And I can't um, argue with the judges. I'm, I'm proud to have a draw is still a loss of a record. You are a gallant warrior. You both are. You both gave everything. You gave more than anybody expected you could possibly produce in this fight. I congratulate you both. No matter what the decision is, as I said, we saw it for Tommy Hearns, but nonetheless, a great, great battle. How about a rematch? Go home this time. Feeling and thinking about you all the time, but I can think about a woman sometimes now. A rematch, Ray? Have you had enough of this guy or not? Well, I think we both exhausted. Are you, are you talking rematch, Tommy? Uh, if you want, yes. We, let's, let's, let's go home and rest for a while. I boy. think we should go home and think about it and then come back and make a decision. But right now, we're too tired to say what we want to do. <laughs> That's you know, fair I, enough. I want to speak for myself. I don't know about him. That's fair enough. You've been through a tremendous emotional burden, Tommy. You showed you dealt with it fantastically tonight. Congratulations to you again, Ray.